בוקר טוב. פרשת בעת חנן, תופס פסוק על פרשת בעת חנן, עם ספר מגדלי המורות has about 200 pages of explanation. What is so special about that one pasuk by Tchanan? All the secrets of uh, how to say tefillah to HaKadosh Baruch Hu is in that pasuk. So HaChachamim teach us what are the secrets? Moshe Rabbeinu pray to Hashem 515 times in order to get permission to be granted to go to Eretz Yisrael. And each tefillah that he prayed to Hashem was different. It was, it was Meshane, he made some different requests. It wasn't all the same. So from here our Chachamim teach us, we should always try to make our tefillot with a different meaning, perhaps with a, uh, more excitement, something new we should uh, have in the tefillah First and foremost, in order to make ourselves uh, a new request to Hashem, that now it's a new thing, it's not the, old, the same old request. So once it's new, it has more excitement for us. And also, once, once it's not an old tefillah, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu right, would see that as a new request. So another secret of uh, praying to Hashem is that we should never give up. If Moshe the Rabbeinu, who was so, you know, close to Hashem, prayed to him 515 times for something obvious, right, we, can, we could easily say that it was a right for him to go to Israel. How much more so we need to pray for something that we need, right? We should never give up. Midrash tells us, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu told to Moshe Rabbeinu, if you pray one more time, then I have no choice than, than allowing you to go to Eretz Israel. One more time. 516th time, no more choice. I must allow you to go. Please stop praying. HaKadosh tell us, sometimes there are certain times that we need to request something from Hashem to be granted. And every request that we make, makes our relationship a different one to Hashem. We become more friendly because of all these connections to Hashem. Another thing that we learn is just like Moshe Rabbeinu that he asked for matanat china, he asked for a gift, present. Hashem, please grant it to me. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve to go to a sister. Please give it to me as a matana. If, if Moshe Rabbeinu asks like that, how much, how much more so we need to ask Hashem for, for a present, for give something that we don't really deserve it. Hashem, with your mercy, grant it to me. And there are perhaps many, many reasons. You know, 200 pages of explanation on one pasuk. It's a, it's a lifetime of study. Another uh, important thing is that a person who comes to pray into, uh, in front of Hashem, he needs to have certain achana preparations and also at the same time, he needs to stand in front of Hashem in a very humble manner. So what HaKadosh teaches us, his face should not be up, his face should be down, right? Like a humble person. Requesting something from Hashem that only can be granted by Hashem, and only Hashem has that uh, way of helping. So, if if every one of us would learn these lessons in our tefillot, in prayers, then every tefillah becomes a different, you know, prayer. It becomes something more powerful. And there's that Hashem together, all these tefillot can go to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, can penetrate all the different levels of Shamayim, can get to the Kisei, Ibn Rishal Ulam, and the Zat Hashem Lish Tefilot, should be a Zekhut not only for us, 
for all generations to come. Just like Moshe Rabbeinu that he prayed 515 times and his tefillot are still coming to help us. So to our tefillot can go for generations to come to be a source of help for others as well.